<laughs> Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. <laughs> Coming to you from LS2 Recording Studio. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Very special guest in the. <laughs> sips beer. Sips, hashtag Sips beer. Very. <laughs> sorry, sorry, listeners. <laughs> Um, this dork has me cracking up here. Um, very excited actually about our guest today. Um, it's not every day that we have a female guest. We've had a couple, but so that's awesome. But also just her background and all the things she has going on are pretty cool. So without further ado, I want to welcome MMA fighter, physical trainer, model, Ruby Diaz. What's up? What's good? Hello. How are you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How does that Adele song go? Are you practicing for American Idol or what? No. <laughs> You're testing your, your voice there? <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Ruby came in with the giggles today, then she passed them on to me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So so listeners, we're gonna we'll get into her background a little. We're gonna get into the different projects she has going on. Uh, a little bit of everything. Um and of course, me joking around a lot and some cool stories that Ruby promised me that she had. But, um, but cool. So we'll start with your background. So if you can tell us just a little bit about your background, uh, specifically, like what, you know, maybe what side of town you grew up, if you even grew up here in El Paso, because I don't know you that well, uh, where you grew up, how it was growing up, and then, and then we'll just take it from there. Okay. Sure. Um, I grew up on the east side of El Paso, Texas. Cool. And uh, I lived with my mom. Um, I just came back from Vegas. Sweet. I, I was there for about like five months. And before that, California, I was there for a year. Damn, for real? Um, amazing experience. Um, amazing. Um, and then let's see, before that, uh, I was, I was here and I was going to EPCC and I did cheer for like a semester. It was not my shit. <laughs> At EPCC? Uh, yeah. They have cheer? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't, I know nothing about fucking college. cheer and softball and baseball. Oh, okay. I know they had baseball. Yeah. So you did cheer? What the fuck made you want to do that shit? <laughs> We're oh, sidetracking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be fun. You know, it was. What didn't you like about it then? <laughs> <laughs> you hate girls? <laughs> I, I, Since I'm, girls I, hate each other? I won't. No, I'm not going to talk shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You can tell me off air. <laughs> no, um, I, just MMA was way more important to me. Hell yeah. Like I said, listeners, at the beginning, she's an MMA fighter. She's no cheer girl. <laughs> no. What, what took you to Vegas? Is that where you went first? You were there for five months, you said? Uh-huh. What happened there? What just... Um, so, what was the reason for going out there? So, um, I did a lot of, um, like, promotions, at, like, convention, conventional shows, like, oh, okay. ECC and stuff like that. And um, so I was there a lot. And um, I connect out there. <laughs> but, um, oh, like, <laughs> um, He's, like, my best friend. <laughs> okay. Connect, a.k.a. best friend. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just decided to stay there. It was a lot of fun. Hell, yeah. So promotions, like, do you know, do you remember what companies or what events you worked at? or? Um, ECC and Champs. Oh, for real? Uh-huh. The sports store? Champs? No. What's the, Champs? That's the name it, of the, the company? The glass blowing Oh, games. okay. Cool. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. All these glass blowers and, like, they... Huge convention for like all the glassware. Ah, all right. For it's for tobacco. Shit. It's pipes? so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was dope though. <laughs> dope. What was what was the highlight of that? Like working for them or what's one of the cool events? So much fun. So I mean, I didn't know that you had to own a shop to go there. Oh yeah, uh-huh, yeah. So it's like be, yeah, that I got. I was able to go there. It's like a wholesale thing. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything. It's like a convention, right? Like, so cheap. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah, you got hooked up. Yeah. Damn. That was dope. Cool. So let's see. So then you 
went to California. What was out there the same? same oh, kind of California. Work, oh, so um, reasons for going out to California were so unexpected. I did not even. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I find out Rhonda Rousey, my idol. I look up to her my idol so too. much. Oh yeah, she's amazing. So. She has a seminar. I'm like, how the hell? Like, when I've never heard of her having a seminar. I'm like, when is she going to have another one? Yeah. I have to go. So um, I actually had, like, it was like four days before. <laughs> and I had to um, make, m- I had zero dollars. <laughs> so, so it's not very much. <laughs> oh, Sanya. Oh, I forgot um, to. Calling me. <laughs> Are you- Okay, um, no. Okay. Well. Ruby's is very popular. Oh, no. <laughs> Why, you have to take that or what? No. Okay, cool. And then? <laughs> Ronda Rouse. <laughs> you keep looking at your phone. She's going to keep calling what? No. <laughs> and then? Um. So, let's see what... What was I saying? <laughs> California, Ronda Rousey. So, she yada, has this yada, yada. seminar. And I find out four days before. And I found it on like a, an Instagram <clears throat> post. And so, I was like, oh, my God, I have to go. And I was like, dude, it's in four days. How the hell am I going to... At the time, I was in Tucson, so... Okay, I go back to El Paso. And, um, so you're leaving stuff out? <laughs> no. Oh, no. You were in Tucson or what? No, no um, I had just visited I for just like the weekend. Oh, okay. And, then? And, and so I, I was in Tucson, and I, I drive back like immediately. Cause I was supposed to stay there longer in Tucson. I just went back home immediately mm-hmm. and um, made it in time for like the night shift. Um, I was working at Hooters, so oh, okay. I just started doubling up, like double shifts. I made like five hundred dollars. Like nice. those four days, I was able to. I barely had nice. enough money to drive there and drive back, which is like three hundred dollars. And like, yeah, and both ways, like back okay. fine, and um, <clears throat> and two hundred dollars for the seminar, like the ticket. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, and I was like thirty dollars for food yeah. or something, yeah. you know, like maybe. So. Um, so yeah, I, I I just took off and um, I actually got there a day early. I thought it was the fourth, but it was the third. What? And so I was like ready. I had just gotten there just in time for the seminar. Like, oh shit! Yeah. How can you mix up the date? <laughs> because I was, I'm telling you, I was working so much oh, double shifts every day. I was like losing days, track yeah. of my days. By the time I get home, it's That's like, happened to me. you know, it's like, oh, it's three a.m. Yeah. I think it's three a.m. The third. But I need to get there. Yeah. Fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. Ruby's a little bit under the wear. She's getting an, over something. Even I am. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like a little bit flammy. A little flammy. I saw little this flammy. little video the other day. Oh, my God. It was so funny. This little, um, I mean, you know the girl that's like, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, yeah, yeah. You know that girl? Of course, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I, I stepped outside for a cold pop. <laughs> and I had seen some smoke i said neighbors are barbecued and she's like <laughs> right <laughs> and, and she's like um <clears throat> i come over i smell the smoke i got bronchitis <laughs> and they're just like ain't nobody got time for ain't that time for bronchitis? <laughs> i know like damn People it's been a long time so annoying <laughs> yeah you said you were sick for like a month or what the fuck jesus i know yeah i took everything so what happened? Did shot you make it to the? Uh, oh yeah, you said well, you got shot in the ass five times or what? That sucked. They just poke you or what? What the fuck's that time? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So what, <laughs> it's a ghost. Um, so tell us about the fucking conference. So you made it. Oh yeah, I fucking made. Excuse. Excuse. No, you can curse. You can fucking curse. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fucking fuck, 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 fuck. 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 Oh, no, I'm joking. I when I get no fucking time for that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so um, I made it. Um, Dear. she okay. As soon as I step in, I see Rhonda. She's the first person I see, and then the four girls. It was a four horsemen. Oh, the four horsemen that never four win. horsewomen. Yes, <laughs> that always lose. <laughs> they yeah. do. They kind Come of on. do. I know. I love them. I mean, anything Rhonda, I love it. But I, they don't, they're not that good. <laughs> I love. The, I love them though. So Jessamine. Yeah. Shayna. She got like a fucking new tattoo, that crazy bitch. Amazing, I know. It's so fucking fucking badass. There's a story, I think it was just and another one that they saved some 
some dude was roughing up some chick or something, and they beat up some guys. Those chick, two of them, two of the four horse. Jessamine was one of them. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Um, so what happened? I keep interrupting you. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no! Because if it's Rhonda, if it's Rhonda, like I'll branch out. Badass, (laughs) so badass. So I see the three girls, and it was Rhonda, and she turned around like that, and Uh it was like the fucking movie, like the movie that she's in, Entourage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I saw them in it, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I was like, (laughs) "I, I was, I felt like I was back in the gym. Like that's the gym that we trained at, like that I trained at, and like I'd see she. So I was like. So um, I trained um, apart from them, but like I would like uh, apart from Rhonda, she trains alone, you know. Yeah, of course. So she's doing this mitt work, and I would just watch like yeah, every course. day. I would watch and just like observe. Like I would, of course, I wasn't allowed to take a video or none of that. Like, yeah. but I just got the opportunity to like just yeah. learn what she learns, like. I See, can hear her coach, and he's like one of the best boxing coaches. Yeah, that Persian guy. What is he? Persian, Armenian, or something? Armenian. Um, yeah, that's that's a big deal. That's what Edmund I always tell Tavidad. people. Yeah. Uh, well, there's like a big old controversy right now with, with those guys, huh? with him and and her. Um, but we'll get into it later. But what, what I was gonna say is that's important. That's what I always try to tell people. Not that I'm that I'm perfect or anything, but if you're in a certain field, you have to be willing to invest to go to seminars like that. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Because mm-hmm. people, they want everything easy. So they're like, well, I want to do this. And they just want it to happen magically. No, you have to read books, go to those fucking seminars, you know, uh, follow and, and research the people that you idolize. Like even in, like every people, yes. right? The people that know me, know I'm into hip hop. So when I was promoting a lot more and I had my own label before, I would tell the people that on our label that, hey, don't compare yourself to anybody here locally. You know, pick your favorite rapper and aim for that. You know yes. What I mean? right? I, what I said to myself, I said, I want to be the best. Yeah. I want to learn from the best. I have to be, I have to learn from the best. You spent money and you invested in your future yeah. and, and drove out there. So that's so dope. Pro- she let me train you. that day and she said, it's tomorrow. Um, well, she, well, she was like, you know, I was talking to the front desk guy. They're like, oh, uh, he goes and talks to Rhonda. And then Rhonda comes up. She's like, oh, my God, you, th- you drove all the way from Texas. I'm, I'm like, so it was in um, Glendale, California. Yeah. That's where the gym's at. Yeah. yeah. So they had it at her gym? Uh-huh. Well, that, well, that Edmund's gym. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can never say his name right. That's fine. But it's <laughs> so amazing. You go there, and it's Rhonda everything. It's so beautiful. Course, I'm like, yeah. yeah, like... I want a, a punching bag like that. Like, so she has like her own octagon and it, like, it, it's so, yeah, I, it's so amazing. Re- recreating the actual, you know, you know what? Shit. Yeah. So <clears throat> I was me. like, I dream of having that. Like, I, I, you know, I'm like, I just look up to her so much. Like, I, I, I'm like, that is so amazing. I need like, to add you on Facebook so we like, can, so we can share Rhonda shit. <laughs> Cause I'm always putting Rhonda shit. I love Hashtag right? wifey, MMA wifey. <laughs> I'm always putting that shit. I don't care if she lost, right? Listeners, fuck you guys. I know. She's the shit and she always <laughs> will be like, beast. she, um, we're going to get into that. The reason. Later. We're going to get into that shit. Literally. Me. Cause I wanted to get your opinion on it. The reason. And then how did it, how did it end or what was the highlight or what, what else happened the, in that trip? I mean, obviously what, what, what was the main thing you took away from it? Let's put it that way. As far as the seminar. It was really hard to live out there. Oh, yeah. Cost of living is... Cali is fucking insane. It's like fucking five times El Paso and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But you had fun. You're by yourself, too? Yeah, I had no family out there. So, But I did have one friend. Yeah. So, just to... Not to interrupt you, but because this is important. Like, that's why I wanted to have you on the show. Because... You told me, yeah, I never heard the Ronda Rousey shit, but I, you had told me, because just so, so the listeners know, like, I know Ruby, but I don't know her well, but we've chatted a couple times. You mentioned that you travel and stuff, like, you're just out there driving around. So my point is, you know, I'm taking this little break and interrupting you real quick, just to let people know, you can't, you can't fucking make excuses. You have to just go and do it. Like, well, I want to do it, but... So and so doesn't want to go with me, or blah blah blah, or I don't have this, I don't have that, or I don't have money. It was like, you know what I mean? Just I didn't have to, money. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Ruby didn't make excuses. She, you know, she's you're always you're like self motivated. In other words, so that's that's pretty dope. 
I'm just telling people should take a, a page from your book is what I'm saying. You know what? I um, <clears throat> um, I was really influenced by a really dedicated friend. Like, he's yeah. a skateboarder uh, from El Paso. Oh, for real? Who? His name's Rudy Garcia. That sounds familiar as well. And he's, he's driving Shout out GoPro. to Rudy. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to Rudy. <laughs> yeah, he's um, an amazing photographer. He just graduated from film school. And he still lives here? Um, no, oh, no, now he, he like, he's killed, making moves. Yeah. He, he killed it. He went to the <clears throat> LA film school of Hollywood, oh, nice. in Hollywood. It's like the best. So that's like your mentor in a sense or your Yeah. Like he made shit happen. Like that's dope. he went out there, he lived in his car. Yeah. You know, See, shit like that. like that. Like I've done that shit. <laughs> I, yeah. I had to like, sh- yeah. whatever it takes. Like. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, if you're not doing it, then what are you doing? Yeah. That's good. That's good. See, I wish he still lived here so I can have him on the show, too. But, um, okay. He definitely comes yeah. often, oh, very, real? very often. Shit. Yeah. Let him know. Well, I'll let him know about this. He's experience. always repping El Paso. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He put I El Paso him. I think on the I, map. He's like on if, magazines and shit it? like that. He's a badass skateboarder. I don't know, really know why. He's well known in the street. Like, his name rings a fucking bell big time. I'm wondering if I have him on Facebook. I don't know. His it sounds familiar. He's photography too, so he's pretty. Rudy so, Garcia. Yeah. Well, shout out to Rudy. We wish him the best. Maybe next on the show. Yeah, hopefully. So, so he he really influenced me a lot <clears throat> in in going out. Um, let's see. I had, I had um, went to California like seven months before I actually stayed because, so oh second day of. Of being there with Rhonda, um, she mm-hmm. let me she train there, so that's how I got to train with her. It's dope. I'm like, jealous of you. I want to punch Edmund. you. <laughs> <laughs> punch me. She's cheating on me with Ruby, my wife. <laughs> and then. <laughs> She's sad. And then yeah, I'm still like amazed. Also, oh, that's how I, I stayed. Out, that's how I stayed out there. I was like, oh my god, I got the opportunity. Yeah, I'm just. I take it like whatever. I just dropped everything I had in El Paso. I was working at Hooters at the time. I was going to APCC. My, sc- my fucking my school, man. Doing cheer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said fuck it. That's exactly how I stopped cheering. It was like the semester. I was like no, but um, yeah. So I picked. I picked that. I was like, dude. I like. I I just wanted to meet her and yeah. get a picture. It's a big and deal. Le- and like see like learn from her. What like pick her brain and that's what i got to do is like crazy i have like, to give you knuckles after because <laughs> that's dope but i guess i um dreams are real man like i mean that was that was a dream of mine that oh. that was crazy like that that happened that's a little and, bucket list item you checked yeah off yeah and then so so not only there but like <clears throat> training at other like elite gyms like i trained at rain it's like no longer there anymore that's, that's but, in cali but, yeah, okay. um, it's a great wrestling school. It's nice. an MMA school. It's my See, I wish I knew more wrestling. Yeah. gym. Um, so um, it was so cool. I got to train with Kylan Karan mostly. Like she was my training partner. Nice. And um, she fought Paige Vance at. Hmm. When? What the fuck? Kylan who? Hold Kylan Karan. Slipping. So she, I mean, obviously she lost because Paige is undefeated, no? I want to go, I mean, I want to go train with Paige. So this guy, Adrian. She um, has a tough test coming um, up next. Yeah. Okay, my other Rose, wife, oh, Thug Rose. So my both, both of my wives are fighting. I, don't, I have no idea who to root for. Uh, you it's know, like, like those, girls, those girls are like hot enough to be ring girls. Like, you know what I mean? Both That's of them. So, yeah. Even, with, even Thug, like she shaved her head. I know. And she still looks hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh really man, is. that's dope. That's that's cool. Like that to talk to a chick that knows MMA shit. That's dope. Because <laughs> <laughs> usually it's like there's a lot of bandwagon shit happening right now. Everybody's kind of like getting into MMA all of a sudden, which is yeah, cool. But yeah, like that's but girls kind of like just pretend to like know which are just. I'm not hating on that. That's cool that they you know tweets, <laughs> tweets their own, but like you actually know your shit. Like you live it and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I so. So he's out there. He's like, dude, I want to put in a word for you. Like, you can come train with us. He's main. He's Paige's main training partner. He's from El Paso. Oh, like, for real? What yeah, the fuck? I didn't know that. yeah. He trained with Ed the Tech here out here. What? That's how I got started. Like, he's my first coach. Wow. I think he was like a lot of people's first coach. He really like branched What's out everybody here in El Paso. Um, Ed, 
Arellano. He's I think that. Um, yeah, he gets a lot of you know promotions, calls, and all that. And nice. Really, so if you want to fight like amateur fighting, you talk to him. <laughs> when you first said it, it sounded like you were challenging people. So if you want to fight, <laughs> no, but because I really <laughs> encourage you, like this, this, this is. I don't even like shit is amazing. Like it is so real and it's so what MMA like, or... maybe, like I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, like I mean, a lot of people want to get into it, but like why not? But they don't know where to start. I've like, trained. That's where to start. I've trained, and it was it's fucking awesome. Like the, one of the first things I would say that really stuck out to me. Not that I was I've, not that I was in shape really when I started, but I saw people. I got in shape at some point. This is a few years ago when I first started, but I saw people go in that were in shape. And they would do jujitsu, and they were dying. Yeah, and that shit stuck out to me because, like, jujitsu when you roll, I don't oh give a God. fuck if you're doing CrossFit or if you're wh- whoever the fuck you are. Go roll, go roll for three minutes. Oh You'll be dying. Oh my God! Yes, yes, or no? yes, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. You're completely I exhausted. I fucking threw up a few times. I mean, you know, once you practice a little yeah, more, once then you're, you're but then you but get, even if, but right, but even if you're in shape, you go yeah. and roll, and you still get tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's you, you. I don't know you what it is. You sweat but so much; it's like the biggest cardio. You have some I mean, some strangers' sweat that. dripping into your mouth. This Dorian's, oh, uh. <laughs> Does it happen? <laughs> Some, you have somebody's on top of you. Have sweat dripping on your face. I said um, mouth as a joke, Roby. Okay, not to me, but because it, it does not sh- it happen. It does happen. Like, and then there's like, I mean, I mean, let's talk about that I, then. It, let's talk that about the funny happened. side of it. <laughs> that happens, like. Me, um, it dripped. <laughs> it just, it was, I was like, oh, sorry, fuck. <laughs> to your training partner or, what? or just another person there? A guy or, what? or a girl? I will. My main training partners are guys, okay. two guys. Um, yeah, yeah it, it happens. Shido. But you know what? You know what I hate? Like, because again, I want to talk like about the light side of it is uh, not everybody that is in the gym is like a clean person. <laughs> What? Like, no, no. We yeah. are like, like they will know. The like, gym that well, I you better to, shower yeah, before training. It's like, oh, no, everyone you're rolling, does. and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, like body odor or breath. <laughs> or like, oh, really, bro? Seriously? Like, like they're on top and they're breathing. It's like, oh my god, you didn't brush your fucking teeth. Like, you don't come to the gym. I know it's the gym, but you don't come all fucking gross. Like, <laughs> All gross. Start, you know what I mean? Like, all gross. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking... You like, know who you sounded like? <laughs> <laughs> the dog from fag. Family Guy. Oh, Brian or what? Yeah. How? He's not, he doesn't sound as gay as I do. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? Like, some people come fucking, like... Like, I'm not saying you're going to shower for the gym, but come clean. Like, you're going to be rolling with people. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking smell your shit. Like... Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's happened to me. Like, oh, uh, just, just I'll tap. I'll tap on that. That's how I tap. It's, it's a it's a stench, a, a bo tap. <laughs> tap on bo instead of choke or strikes. It's bo tap. <laughs> I almost did that. Yeah, I almost no, did that. Happened. Yeah, hell I've yeah. People I, fart while I'm rolling with them. It was so disgusting oh, and God. like. It smelled like fucking ball sweat. Like so disgusting. Mm, I was yeah. like, get the fuck ball sweat off ball me. Sweat. That sounds like that sounds like a new energy drink. Get pissed. Ball sweat. <laughs> <laughs> we should start a new energy drink. We'll call it ball sweat. Gross. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's for the it's target that, that's the a target. Light yellow. It, we're, we're, <laughs> Ew. we're targeting those people. Like beer. They'll, they'll probably like it. Those, those gross people. Hey, ball sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Just one word, all hashtag ball sack. <laughs> Me and my ex-boyfriend, we would call each other um, ball sack. Hey, ball sack. He <laughs> 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 turned around like, like, just laugh. Like in public, it's like, what the fuck? You just call her ball sack? <laughs> no, I'm just like, around the house, no. <laughs> nah, it's funner. You, you gotta take it out. Hey, hey ball sack. Ball sack. <laughs> Suck my ball sack. <laughs> hey, ball sack, can you lick my ball sack? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Cool. Let's see. Some, some Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. How long have you trained then? MMA. When did you start? Where did you start? You touched on it a little bit earlier, but let's get like more specific. Uh, I started at Names, LA Boxing. Names, time, all that. Um, LA Boxing. LA boxing. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I was 15. And no I was like a sophomore in high school. Nice. And um, no. 
Yeah, junior. Close enough. And mm, it turned into UFC gym. Yeah. I started at the tech with my trainer. Um, I le- Not I to interrupt you, just want to apologize to the listeners. There's like a knocking sound. I have no idea what the fuck it is. I guess it's next door. They're fucking. There's somebody's <laughs> fucking really kidding. hard. But, but the rhythm of it's like really bad. It's weird. I kind of like it. I'm, it's really hard to focus now, now that Ruby said that. But, but that's a weird rhythm of fucking. Da, 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 da. I thought I was the only one that did that. <laughs> Two times. It's because he loses his boner and gets it back. And oh. Da, 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 da. oh my god! <laughs> See, it's it's fucking annoying me, but we have to keep going. And then, and then fifteen, <laughs> sophomore, junior. I haven't even heard it this whole time. I just like it's getting louder though. Oh no, we don't think so. You hear it now, right? Because I pointed it out. Now it's we're hypersensitive to it now. Start smoking. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh, oh, oh. Followed him to Lean Mean Fitness. Then he got his own gym, get fit. And from there... Um, Are you at Lean Mean also? Uh-huh. Cool. Um, I was telling you earlier, my cousin. That's yeah. where he trains, Victor. Uh-huh. Shout out to Victor Bullet through here. Anyway, <laughs> we do a lot of shout outs here, okay, Ruby? Just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the show before. And then... You can hear it, right? It's going to fuck up the whole show. No, nah, it's not. And then, so boxing, or what did you, did you go straight to MMA, or were you doing boxing? Or it was a, it or? was kickboxing, okay. and then I would do a jiu-jitsu <clears throat> class, like, um, every other day. Nice. Who uh, was your jiu-jitsu trainer? Ed. Ed also? Uh-huh, okay. yeah. Yeah, then I moved on to uh, Bushido after. Bushido? Like, yeah. Shout uh, out to Bushido. Bushido's hard. Yeah, I, was, I heard it gets crazy there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I've heard oh, stories. Yeah. I've always wanted to go there, but it just, you should. I want to like, I want to get punched in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting punched in the face. I do, but no. yeah, I got too fucking, and it's expensive. <laughs> I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. That's <laughs> it's the kind of shit I'm into. Uh, hey, yeah. there's some weird shit in California. What do you mean? <laughs> He's all up into that. <laughs> a little bit of punching, some choking. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> chill, some chill, ball chill, gag. Chill. <laughs> and then, so 15, I don't know how, I'm not going to ask you your age, but. I'm 22. 22, so seven years then training. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Bushido is when I started to do like more well all rounded MMA. I didn't, I didn't have wrestling too much. <clears throat> Wrestling's a but when I went out to California, I spent that whole year mm-hmm. wrestling at a wrestling school. And, like that was my main thing that I was working on, nice. like four days a week. Um, Jiu Jitsu and boxing. I was kind of more confident of my boxing. Nice. I got that in El Paso mainly, so I'd been doing that first kickboxing. Nice. Um, Bushido showed me more uh, Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah. I love fucking Muay Thai. Yeah. It's the brutal shit. Yeah. Mm. Kicks. Elbows. Knees, elbows, and the fucking yeah, yeah. face. And then? Um, throw some names at me from Bushido. Who's the head honcho there or what? Who goes see Just that? for the... Yeah, the okay. Owner. I've heard of him. Yeah. Badass. Just for... Because I'm... Because part of this... Part of the show, what I try to do is also just kind of like provide, you know, information mm-hmm. to the listeners. So... Mm-hmm. So if they want to, you know, hit hit up the gym or they have, yeah, they have some names to go off hit of. Yeah, up the gym. So cool. So this is, Yeah, he's the main the dude, best right? best school if you're, if you're not from Bushido. Anyway. Who does the jiu-jitsu there, though? <laughs> if you're not from Bushido. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shots. <laughs> Hashtag shots fired. Hashtag <laughs> shots. Uh, Bushido Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> How do you throw the Bushido gang sign? How do you do a B? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so let's see. So, okay, Bushido, so that's where you're at now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I got injured like two weeks ago. Are you serious? What the fuck? What yeah, happened? so I couldn't fight. You were supposed to fight? Yeah, I was supposed to fight. Okay, I got injured like three weeks ago. I was supposed to fight like two weeks ago. Fuck. Yeah, I was. So kind of it really, it really fucked me up. Like bummed out about mentally, it. mentally. Like I was so ready for the fight. I wanted. What was the you injury? Know, I got really sad. Like 
Yeah, because you put I all that training, work in. I was training for so long, man. Like, what was the injury, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, my shoulder. Really? Oh. Yeah, popped what? out like twice. Sparring, and then oh just kind God. of fell out and stayed out. <laughs> Literally, it was like it's, dead Don't weight, take it like. the wrong way, but like, it's because you're a girl. And then like, I, you know, for the listeners, you know, <coughs> Ruby's me. like not, she's she's very easy on the eyes. She doesn't look like a fucking fighter. <laughs> she's like really pretty, you know, she's thin. So it's like, it's, it's weird to hear that, that you're like fucking fighting, getting injured and shit. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. So don't take my laugh in the wrong way. It's just crazy. <laughs> So your fucking shoulder popped up? Yeah, and it just oh. it stayed. I was like, what the? it was like dead weight. I couldn't even feel it. I couldn't pick it up. Nothing Fuck. like, I couldn't move it. Like, it was just, you know, hanging. <laughs> <laughs> She's there? So I was like, You're oh, what the hell? Yeah, I had to like bend down on my knees and like oh pick God. it up. Like, put my hand on the mat and then pick it up. Damn. And I put it, well, anyway, um, I was like, I, I really was going to take the fight because I really wanted to fight. I was like, <clears> fuck it. Like, I just won't. I'll use my 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 right, you know. I'll stop <laughs> just one or yeah, yeah. I was like, shit. That's if I all, can, you fucking cool. imagine? Like, I mean, of course, I'm using my left until it goes out, and then, yeah, and then switch. No, <laughs> that's yeah, but that would like no, because it, like, it would the, pop in and out, like pop. Really? But that How's time it now? I was like, that just fell out. Are you but I was like, now? it's definitely gonna come out in like the first um, swing or what. E- like the first round, so I was like, okay. I was really gonna. I was like, pop it back it. in. Yeah, because I was like, okay. I mean, I've heard Ronda doing huh? it. You know, yeah, that's they're why. like, you might, you're gonna get really hurt. Like, yeah, you don't this is a fight. You're gonna, and like, you're kind of finding a way to, you know, get you in this octagon with somebody, you know, just as good. So yeah, you don't want to act like cause it to be more serious or something more permanent. Like yeah, damaging. or if she but, like sees that it's yeah. hurt and goes for it, because oh, yeah. But that's the fact that she still wanted to do it. That's like I really was gonna do it. I really was gonna do it. I was like, uh, okay, Ronda fucking popped her elbow out and popped her back in, like and won, like yeah. you know. So that's the kind of risk you gotta take, like to yeah. be the best and shit. Like, hell yeah. Well, anyway, where were we? I wasn't allowed, but I mean, this is the most. Recent I decided one? I'm gonna talk to people. Who, like, huh? You decided what? Sorry. You're going to talk to people with what? Oh, I, like, <laughs> like my mom's like, you know, this and that. And what? This and that? Be like, specific. <laughs> tell me, like, okay, dangerous. And, like, let's just get this, you know, let's make let's make it a long, you know, longer. Career. Yeah. Not, okay. not just get hurt. And... Yeah, especially amateur. Yeah. Because those don't even count. Yeah. Oh, you're even getting paid. Yeah, it's better not to. I even heard an interesting story. I watched a video recently. It was an amateur fight, some regional shit. And uh, this guy was just beating the shit out of this dude. But the guy wouldn't go down. But he was beating the shit out of him. And the ref wouldn't stop it. Because the guy was still up. The other, the guy that was losing was still alive. You know, he was still up. But he was not. he was getting tagged, like, hardcore, like, really bad. The guy that was winning, he just... Stop hitting him, got down on one knee and tapped. And it was like, what the fuck? And then he explained later, he was like, dude, this is like, I'm fucking hurt. Like this, I'm destroying this guy. Like, like this is amateur. None of us are getting paid. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'll take the fucking loss. I already, I, he knows I won. Like, you know what I mean? Like he mm-hmm. literally, he took a loss mm-hmm. because he kept beating the shit out of this dude. Like, but they wouldn't stop it. So he just tapped. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. But uh, but it's like amateur, so it's like, it's like who cares? I don't care. I'll fucking when I become pro, I'll then I'll I'll never do that, obviously. But amateur, it's like whatever. Um, so how do you get how do you get booked for fights? Explain that whole process. Um, they usually hit up our coaches. Yeah. Mm-hmm, like uh, they say, talk we need, to Hugo. We need so and so weight. Or Ed. And... Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll be like, I have this girl. This crazy tea. girl, Ruby. Straw weight. She'll fight with a broken shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Straw weight, huh? So what? That's what, like fucking one ten or something. What the fuck is that? Oh, one fifteen. One fifteen. Okay, that's what you fight at mostly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, so they call them. Contracts are signed, or how does that work? Yeah. Just so the people that, that don't know, the listeners, break down the whole process, or. 
as yeah. much as you can. Yeah, we'll take the fight. Like, they'll let my coach know, and he'll be like, okay, Ruby, I got a fight for you. This girl, blah, blah, blah. This, this, and that. Tell you about the, you know, where, okay, where, what she's, yeah, then he'll, the, the girl's name or whatever. Sometimes I don't even get to find out until, like, I just, like, I'm on the list, I'm fighting, and then I'll get really? a fighter later. What the fuck? Um, but then, then you know, you get to like know her or whatever. Yeah, so that's crazy. Game plan then. How do you game plan? Because well, it's amateur, so there's probably not like a lot of video out there, right? Or, but you know their background, you know their strengths. Yeah, not too much, but like I mean, you if know, you so. kind of also know um, where they train, and like, you know um, okay. what that school is about, and how and you know their potential, all more that. Or yeah, because we've, we've fought a lot. Like our schools fought a lot. Hmm. Pretty well known, other schools like us in, in Albuquerque. Yeah, the Albuquerque schools, huh? Yeah. Like who? Who's in Albuquerque? Or do we? We don't want to promote them, huh? Fuck those guys or Fuck what? Fuck them. <laughs> Say it again. Fuck them. <laughs> who has won more? <laughs> us. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. We just dominated the like that fight. That fight I was supposed to take was like the card to be on. It was called Evolution. It was pretty. Oh. It was like a girl. Main, uh, female oh, main girl. event. Okay. Yeah, and she, her name's Nico. She's dope as fuck. Like, from here, she was the first girl I fought. Oh, okay. Yeah, and and now she's, um, she's from Colorado. Oh, okay. Like, Nico. Nico. Hmm. Montana. She's. Really you know who I want to have on the show? Actually, I was talking to her husband, not to be whatever, but that uh, Cynthia Arceo. Do you know her or no? Mm-mm. She's like from here. Never heard of her. No. <laughs> but I really like. Really? No, I swear. I she's like, know. she recently won some kind of amateur championship. She's fought in uh, King of the Cage Street here at the Socorro mm -hmm. Entertainment. Maybe if I see her, I'll know her. She's like her story is like she's a teacher and stuff like that. So I've uh, I was in talks with them, but it's cool to see females fighting. Is my point. Um. Let's see. So Alita Gray is out here too, I think. Who? Alita. That sounds familiar. I thought you were, I thought maybe That sounds familiar. But too. her name's Cynthia. Maybe it's nah. Cause her last yeah, this chick's name Gray. Arceo. Oh, okay. I don't know. She's got the That's Oh, her last fight was crazy. Her last fight was um Her last fight was insane. Oh. Uh, okay, so let's see here. What else can we talk about? So what when you're walking up to the cage, what exactly is going through your mind or what can you break down the mentality for the listeners, you know, nervousness or what other kind of energy when you're, when they call and introduce you or whatever, or, or you're walking up, what's going through your mind? What are you feeling? <laughs> well, my first one, I, I was so nervous, Damn. so nervous. Oh my God. I was freaking out. Like. Freaking out, like, um, but, like, coming up to the fight, like, because I had took it, like, a week's notice, but, um, like, <clears> the <throat> day before, I was really, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? And then, um, I had to. You can't, there's no turning back. <laughs> I have to, um, I had to smoke, like. A little something, I, something. You, you know, smoke before a fight? No, I mean the night before, oh. not right before, no. But um, and I hadn't smoked for a long time, like. But I was, I was. Um, it definitely needed that. Like I needed to calm down because I needed to get in that fight, and I'm so glad I freaking did. So glad, like, I, that was the highest high. Like, oh my god, yeah, being in that cage. I the fight. We're going to go punch each other. That's Fighting and cool. adrenaline and People like, watching. it's just, <clears throat> anyway. What event was it? Well, I lost King of the Cage. King of the Cage also? Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. I love King of the Cage. Yeah. So many legends come out of King of the Cage. Here in El Paso? Or where'd you go? I was in Colorado. Oh, cool. Oh, I actually went to jail right after like. um I was, <laughs> I was in the casino. It was the stupidest shit ever. Oh my God. Here's one of the stories. <laughs> Jesus see. Christ. Break it down. So, um, it's at a casino. Um, it's after the fight. I'm like all purple and blue. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. And so, Ugh. anyway, I, I try it. to put hella makeup on. 
You serious? So I looked like a clown. That shit looks hot though. Some fucking bruises and shit. <laughs> and um, yeah, my leg was all bruised up. No, 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 no. Um, one second. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hello. It's going to be a very interesting episode. Hmm. Hold on. Um, what was I saying? That you got arrested or something. Oh, oh okay, okay. So we're in the casino and you're, Ed's you're like... You're super spacey. Um, yeah. It's cute, but it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The listeners are like, I have, it's because like, pauses and like, <laughs> it's because I have, it's because I like think about so many things and like so many stories link and I'm like, oh my God. And then I realize things and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in that like. So what happened? Whatever. What the fuck did you do? Causing right, so, trouble? You're obviously Oh, we were in the maker. casino. I was like, what, um, 19, no, yeah, probably. Yeah, like 19. Mm-hmm. And, um. 20 i don't know one of those and um so so um it's like i'll teach you how to play the slots i was like okay we put ten dollars in i play and then they come up to me and they ask me my id i take out my id but the one i took out was my fake id <laughs> And before I can even put it back, like, I turned it around, I showed it, and it was the face showing them, and I turned it around, and I was like, and then I was like, oh, and then they had already taken it out of my hands. Oh, man. And I'm like, really? Like, I'm like, that's not... That's not cool. Yeah, I'm like, that's not... How rude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> rude. Rude. Like, rude. I would have shown him my real ID, like, in El Paso, you can <clears throat> be in the casino at 18 and, and yeah. play. So, and they're like, they're like, no, you have to be 21, like, that's a lot. They're yeah, um that's true. Yeah, but, but like, in their casino, they had never heard of a casino a lot at 18. But anyway, so they're like, yeah, no, um, anyway, that one was funny. Man. I got in trouble for showing them a wrong, the wrong ID, but I was you like, dude, I w- yeah, I was like, I would have shown you my right ID. <laughs> they don't and, just kick you out? And even then, I was like, you? yeah, even oh, then, oh. I was still like, <clears throat> under. but <laughs> yeah, they freaking took me and they asked me. Are you Indian? Because it was at Oot Mountain Casino. <laughs> Which mountain? Oot. Oot. <laughs> yeah, Oots. like all the Oots. That mountain. So what happened? They fucking they call the cops and shit or what? I got arrested. Yeah. Did you get all scared? I, I, yeah, I didn't, it took me to jail. I was so scared. Who was with you? Your I scared team? as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, well, scared, at though, the tech. You're, you're a fucking MMA fighter. You'll fuck up all those bitches anyway. Yeah, but I had never been to jail. I'm <laughs> no. going off of what I've seen in movies. Like, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Like, anyway. Just chill. Like, it's, just, it's shitty food, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like, no, you know, I was preparing for the most, the you most, like, I was preparing. That's like, prison, that's not jail. <laughs> <coughs> no, but I, I didn't know, like, they took yeah. me to an Indian gym, and there's all these Indians, like, f- uh. as fuck, like, disgusting dykes with mohawks, like, Yummy. gray hair and long <laughs> ass braids down, like, past their ass. And they're dykes? Yeah. And, like, I was just, like. I was just so traumatized by like what I was seeing. I'm like, gonna be one of their girlfriends. Everybody in the orange. I was like, oh. <clears throat> and to see myself in that clothes, I was like, the fuck? What am I doing in my life? Like, this is not like not me. I'm like, this is not. It's this so is not me. this is not this happening is so not right me. now. <laughs> How did this happen? This is the stupidest shit ever. For what? I fucking played for like. Five, five minutes, minutes on a fucking slot machine. It's a fucking dream. <laughs> I want to wake up already. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. You know what I did? <clears throat> like, okay, so I had to go into a little cell with two other girls, and there was two beds, and they were already sleeping on them. And <laughs> and I'm like, and there's no bed for you. <laughs> fuck. I'm like, and and oh. so like being being like the one who who like take like the leader who takes charge. I'm like, am I supposed to fucking kick you off? <laughs> like. Right. Like and but then like there it was chilling. I'm just like if anybody fucks with me, I swear to God, head, like head I still I'm still like on my adrenaline like from the fight. Yeah. Like 
So and you're bruised up. So you look yeah, like they they already. look they looked at everybody looked at me like walking in all the fuck crazy happened looking. to you like because they're they, yeah, they're, they're in jail me. they don't even know that there's a fucking fight like yeah they don't know what the fuck <laughs> they yeah know they're like the fuck happened to you I'm like I, I would just mean my the <laughs> fuck out of everybody like just making sure nobody <laughs> fucked with me like and then what happened how long did you stay in there a day or what yeah it was like the next day um we went to the court and my coach was there coach ed and and then he they like, had to stay there out. an extra day or what yeah because you were supposed to be in a back in el paso yeah or? everybody left and he he had to stay one day and oh. we rented another car That's loyalty <laughs> well fuck you better have stayed fuck <laughs> Imagine the like, fuck oh, who's peace. gonna get me out of here like are you kidding <laughs> nobody got time for that ruby nobody, nobody got time to bail people out <laughs> I would have cried. Imagine they left. It's like, hey, call I, us. I mean, I would have. Call us when you get out. <laughs> I don't know. So what? You just spent the night. Done. That's it. Did you have, to, you have to go back and deal with anything? Or I mean, what the fuck? Or, or a fake ID? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. They're like, um, pretty much with the fucking court ladies, Stupid. the the judge and the, all the, the like the lawyer, whatever they said. They're like, just, just. I'm like, okay, yeah. deal, deuce. Like, I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> you get, your next fight is booked over there. <laughs> it, no, it's like a teeny tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. Like, it's you can drive through that town in like five minutes. It's yeah. like one mountain really, and it's all the oots that live yeah. there. Oot Mountain. Yeah. Oots. I'm like, oots, yeah. Oots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just sounds funny. Oots. Oots. You. It's not Utes, is it Utes? It's Utes, not Utes. No. Because there's like a sports team called the Utes. Oh, a U T E. E, yeah. It's the same. So it's Utes. They, that's how or they both. pronounce Maybe it. Both are correct. I don't know. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, what's some of the biggest lessons you learned then from your, your losses, let's put it that way, or just in general, what's the one of your main losses? What's the one that sticks out in your mind that, you know, as far as that you took a lot from it, like, I need to change this up or that up. Let's see. My first fight, all I knew was kickboxing, and she and I went up yeah, against a jiu-jitsu champion. You so, went in just kickboxing on your first one. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So, um, uh, like <clears throat> all I knew how to do in jiu-jitsu was like an arm bar. That's all I knew. Wrap your legs around them and guard. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. So, so when I got to the ground, it was like. Uh, game over from there. I was like, yeah. I mean, I was she definitely you, need a. Uh, no, no, no. Um, she got me in an arm bar. I got out. I got uh, um. Got out. Yeah, like so, I. Um. Stood up or what? How did you get out? You rolled. Yeah. Um. In the I direction rolled, of. Uh, I rolled. I rolled over. No. Um. I. I put her like she was. She on was trying back? to. Huh. On her back or. Did you stack yeah, yeah, her? yeah. Like I stacked her. Yeah, stack. Yeah, that's the word. And then, but then she got you eventually, or? Um, she she <laughs> came back. Oh, she she was in an arm bar. She came back over to full mount, and uh, it was a TKO because she was bigger than me. I that one was a one thirty five, and I weighed in at like one thirty two, and I gained like six pounds. Like for that, I was like uh, at one thirty. Uh, 120 um sticks and like, so she was like raining down some punches on your wood <laughs> i was like bucking yeah and like uh, get out. yeah but, like i mean i was like you know like this but there yeah. it was in a position i couldn't get out of yeah like um Full yeah, she, yeah okay damn so tko so what, what did you take from that or what was the lesson learned there go go learn more jujitsu yeah, well, I mean, definitely don't <clears throat> take a fight um, a week before Advanced. notice. Yeah, with just kickboxing. <laughs> yeah, just kickboxing, and, and but, I mean, you, you got gotta be well wet, rounded. Though. Yeah, that's what. Trial yeah, by definitely. Fire. Yeah, definitely get your feet wet, but no, like be prepared. <clears throat> like it's better to be prepared for. Who are you with at this time? An opportunity, Bushido? huh? Were you with Bushido already? No, this is uh, with a. Uh, um, I started with Ed, okay. like, at the LA boxing trained with him or? for, like, like four, um, four years, I think. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I was, it was LA, and then it turned into <clears throat> UFC gym <clears throat> now. Yeah. Um, Lean Me Fitness, Get Fit Gym. And then from, um, after that fight, 
um, I focused more on school, like, for eight months, and then the semester was over, and I, I started at Bushido. Um, I made the tryout because they, they only had tryouts, like, I don't know, like, once a year, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, and so, like, I made, I made the cut. And Bushido is, like, a hard school. Yeah. Like, I real heard. hard. And, and they're the best. Like, the, they're just phenomenal. <laughs> so. Uh-huh, go ahead. Um, that, um, let's see. After that is when I went to uh, Calif- California, then after, um, after Bushido, mm-hmm. just because of that opportunity. You know, but, um. <clears throat> That was I, let's see, I got a fight. I got a fight after, um, let's see, a year after that, after that fight. And by that time, I had more um, wrestling, but nice. that was a def- uh, that fight was a psychological game. Like, yeah. That was a huge psychological like, uh, like issue that I, I learned about, and then I had to. Uh, mm. I learned to get over, so <laughs> you definitely got to get your mind right, like getting yeah. into fights. You can't so I be learned young. that. You can't go in there with a bunch of yeah doubts and yeah crazy yeah. shit. I mean, you're gonna be nervous. Yeah, definitely. But... Yeah, I had hella <clears throat> doubt, like because in my uh, since wrestling was newest to me, mm-hmm. I was doubting my wrestling, and I shouldn't have because it turned out like I'm pretty good at it. Like, yeah, yeah. Now, so, so, I'm like, oh, okay, like, all right, like, I, I believe it now, but you should, <laughs> you should believe it in, in the beginning. Trust your coaches. Yeah, and trust your trust coaches, your trust yeah. your team, trust your... Yeah. Support system Yeah, there. yeah, like, 100%, like, oh, yeah. you have to be either two feet in or two feet yeah, out, yeah, you like, be all the not, way in not... Yeah, not half not, You can't have your, your foot on... Second and third base at the same time. Yeah, mentally, mentally. Yeah. Like if you, I was doing everything physically, That's like, the, yeah. like, but mentally, like, I need the confidence. Yeah, know, that's like, all it is, the confidence, building the confidence. Yeah, so I, I, that whole fight um, was just kickboxing. I just reverted to what I was used yeah, to. Comfort zone. Comfort with, and you need to step out of your comfort zones. And so I learned that. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to take a quick key break and then we'll come back and sort of wrap it up is that cool yeah <laughs> listeners sorry i really encourage like women and too. we're back <laughs> oh <laughs> no yeah but uh like we we're saying during the break here listeners you guys didn't hear it but you know it was, it's just an uh, awesome and refreshing thing to have ruby here because she's a strong positive female influence so just uh so any ladies out there you know listening hopefully you can get motivated by this but where do we leave off? We're talking about. Let's go into. Hmm, let's see here. I wanted to ask you. This is just like a silly little question of my own, but I don't know. I don't see it on your, on your Instagram. But do you have a, like a nickname, like a fighting nickname or not? Uh, not yet. I really <laughs> wanted to earn not my yet. nickname, it's, like it's a goal of yours. something badass. You know, like that I earn. Is it gonna way. start with an R? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Rowdy Ruby or what? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, so you don't have a nickname. Someone wants to. I mean, when I, when it was when I was with Ed, like it was kind of like. Mm, used to call me like the the real deal, but yeah. And then I heard it was someone else's like used yeah. to fight or something. I was like, you, you oh. need to come up with like a unique one. Yeah, there's yeah. some unique ones out there like Misha Tate's cupcake. That's I think that's Fuck, cute. That's so stupid. And then, uh, but it's different. <laughs> like nobody else has that. And there was like a, a I forget his name, but his name was Christmas or something like that. That's like his nickname. Mm-hmm. And then there was Twinkle Toes. I think that's what the fuck's his name. I forgot his name, but Twinkle the bald guy. He's his, his fighting name is Twinkle Toes. <laughs> something original, you know what I mean? That way it sticks out. So yeah. Put some thoughts, put some serious thought into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That I, I so I want to earn on my nickname. Like, some some get it to me. Yeah. Yeah. So so you'll take it if uh, your team gives it to you, whatever they choose, or, or you have to like it. I'll you like would, it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll just like it automatically though. Or, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be real. You trust them. So how is it juggling your your personal life and the MMA life and everything else you have going on? Talk about that. <laughs> Why is that funny, Dork? 
Because it's like I didn't have social life. You don't have a social life? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I think I do now more because I got injured, so I'm going out more. But, yeah. <laughs> but when I was training, I couldn't go out. Like, I didn't go out. So Can't party just, on. No, not. I mean, I just didn't want to. Yeah, because like, you're dedicated? Yeah, I was really like, <clears throat> I just wanted to stay focused. And, you know, all, yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Are you uh so obviously we've been talking about MMA shit. So obviously you watch fights and shit, right? Cuz some not all fighters watch the fights. A lot of them are just like Alaska fighter and like locally like no, nah, no. They're, they're just like a the, lot. Yeah, focus yeah. on their own shit. Yeah, yeah, like But you watch fights um, or no? No, I kind of I mean not too many. Like try I try to watch as many as I can. You know, like um but when I'm trading, like I don't really see you yeah. know I trade like one, um, like one or two times a day. Sometimes three, depending like what, like where, what time. Mm-hmm. You know, like where so I'm at in my you, camp. You're like, kind of picky about it, depending on if you're getting ready for a fight or not. Yeah, like if it's somebody that I really like, like yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Like Ronda Rousey. Okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was literally like staring at the TV for like 30 minutes after, just like I couldn't even believe it. Like it just replayed in my head. I'm like, but I don't believe it. The last fight. Yeah. Talk about that then. What the? Damn. What do you think? What do you think happened there? What? I have my 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 opinions on it. Lately, I've been getting in fights with people. <laughs> talking, talking shit. <laughs> like so, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> You're still mad about it. I'm like. But what do you think happened? I feel her pain so much. You know, like. Because people. Getting to know her, I'm, I'm like. Because people, <sighs> the the people that don't like her. They say, well, she's super cocky. She talks a lot of shit. What do you have to say to that? Like, if somebody told you that, like, what's your response to that? It's kind of like, she she works so hard. Like, you kind of got to give yourself that respect, that pat on the back. You know, Mm -hmm. like, because you work that hard. Yeah. And it's not easy to get in there. Hell no. And this girl, like, was a 19-time boxing champion, which was her biggest weakness. Yeah. So it's like, she's, like, she's, like, really actually testing her limits. She's actually, you know, like, challenging herself. Yeah. She's not just taking easy, like, fights, you know, like, she had been watching this girl since her first MMA fight, and that was, what, nine fights already? Yeah. So, like, she she was definitely, like, not mentally right in her mind. How about, because me, I mean, I'm not, you're an MMA fighter. You actually fight. But me, I'm just, you know, I'm a fan. It's easy to talk from this side of it. Uh, but, you know, I'm pretty, I just think of myself as a smart dude. But, like, what? Cause I don't. I didn't understand. Well, I do understand it, but she would. She was chasing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, is that's that how ego? you can tell. No. Is that pride. No, why not is she at all. Because no. when you're circling, mm-hmm. somebody circling. No. I never. I've never understood why fighters chase. Like when Mashida was coming up, people would chase him. That's how he'd beat you because he'd counter strike. Yeah, yeah. But why are you chasing? Like if somebody's running or not running, but like if somebody's circling or whatever, like just stop and like stop in the middle. Like, hey, well, come to me. I'm not gonna chase you. But she was chasing her and then well, yeah. counter striking all day. She's yeah, gonna pick she her apart. Yeah, she was chasing her all day. I don't. What? Why do you think she was? What's the mentality behind the chasing there? Because I think her that was mind the, wasn't right. Yeah. Huh. So, if your mind's not right. You're not focused. Like, cause that's a dumb move. Yeah, I'm like. But we do dumb things when we're not when thinking. Yeah. You know. So her mind. And you're just you're just going for, you're just going like for what you know physically like you know like kind of. And if you're getting knocked up, like you know, hit, 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 like you know, it's it's affecting it's affecting you. Your technique's gonna fly out the window. You're just gonna revert to what you know best. Yeah. And so she she went to her judo because to do that you got to get inside. Yeah. So throw she's someone. Trying to get inside. She's okay. going for her throws. Yeah. And so That's true. so technique <laughs> flies out the window. She was I get dazed. You know. Yeah. Days. She get she, in, get out, and just make her look like where you at? Oh, she she's over there now. Like, like she was embarrassed. Did you yeah. see her like fall? Oh, and yeah, she her, her the look on her face was like, 
oh shit, did that just happen? Like, do you think part of it's in front of um, everybody, like here to watch, you yeah. know? And you know, Especially like, cause... of course, she remembers everything she said. Yeah. That's how she feels. She's real. <laughs> that makes it worse. She's real. That takes courage in my eyes. Like yes, not to be, to be a honest. not to be a Rhonda dick writer, but it takes because I don't hate on anybody. Like take like Conor McGregor, for example. He talks a lot of shit. I don't like him, but I don't I'm not I'm not I don't hate him. Like people were just waiting to fucking shit talk on Rhonda. Yeah. And I'm like, like dude, why you know how much- do you have any idea like <clears throat> like if you have not been in a cage, like it's kind of hard, like super hard, like to understand like the mental the battles, yeah. how many demons you get in your head, like you know. And she's extremely passionate, so what she's going like, she just go with your heart, like she wears her heart in her sleeve. She yes, speaks her mind. yes. And people hate on it, but uh, you know, props to home too. I mean, you know, they it's Jackson. Phenomenal. You know what I mean, like that's one of the Fuck best them. camps. <laughs> they are the they're one of the best. Fuck <laughs> I have no idea where that. Fuck that guy. Why? <laughs> Break it down. Let's see. <laughs> nah, there are rivals. The the, the yeah, fucking school. That's what that, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck that. The school. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> but I'm a. I'm I mean, Holly Holmes cool. Holmes cool, but I'm a I'm a Bones fan for sure. I like all of it. Uh, Condit for sure, but it's because to me. That's like I partied a million times out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. It's like four my, hours away. That's my it's town. Close to that's us. like my sister town. Yeah, I've close. fucking done crazy. I can't even talk about it on the podcast. Like I've done crazy shit out there. So I'm all like five oh five. You know what I mean? That's like my second shit. <laughs> no, seriously. Like I've done nutty shit. When we met our mutual friend out there, like that's where I met him out there. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Talking about fifteen years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I love fucking Albuquerque, but. I've only been there for fights and like softball tournaments. I used to go for hardcore underground raves, like shit in the mountains in the desert. That's dope. Like, crazy. I didn't shit. know it was. Crazy. I didn't know Albuquerque was like a town like that. It's like, a party town, but as far is. as the rave culture, I mean, it's it's not like that anymore because you know the government fucking took that shit out. But the back fuck? then, like in. 99, I can't even get into it. It's just it's crazy. And then it got, then it started getting crazier like in 2000 or whatever it was. All of a sudden, the cholos were like infiltrating the fucking <laughs> rave scene. And you started seeing cholos with pacifiers in their mouths. With, like wife beaters and dickies with pacifiers in their mouths and they're rolling and shit. Like <laughs> rubbing each other, fucking hardcore gang members. But they were also like robbing dealers and shit. It was crazy. That's all I'll say about that. I can't get too much into my own shit because it involves a lot of shit. Lot of shit. It's some spiritual shit, though. But that's why I support that because it's, it's, it's 505. <laughs> but, you know, El Paso comes first. So, but yeah, no. And then, you know what? One thing I'll say also as far as Ronda Rousey and all that, and this goes for any sports and like other shit. When people say, because they post it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, whatever. I told you. You see? I called it. I'm like, you didn't call shit, motherfucker. You're, if you knew, I knew that was going to happen. I told you guys. If you knew, you would have bet a bunch of fucking money and you'd be a fucking millionaire right now. <laughs> I'm going to go on a rent right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? They say, I told you. So you see, you see, Ruby, I told you. Right? You had a bunch of people tell you that, right? I had people text me. I told you. I told you. I you know how many people were blowing up my phone? That's what I'm saying. Me talking too. Talking shit me to too. me. Like, but they're saying, like, damn. if they're fucking national dominance, I'm like, I told you. I'm like, if you knew, you would have bet money, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Now I have a couple of friends that did bet money, but you know what I mean. Like, if I you, was like, you'd but be it a kind of was right like now. a compliment to me. I was like, I'm so glad that they're texting me yeah. for that. Like, that you, you're in their heads. <laughs> you're thinking about me. Yeah. But I thought I just think it's annoying. Like even in sports, I told you, I knew I had a feeling. I'm like, shut the fuck up. If you had a feeling, you would have put fucking five hundred dollars <laughs> on that shit. You would be a fucking millionaire right now. Like, you didn't have a fucking feeling. Don't fucking come, come, <laughs> come out with your bullshit. Your feelings. Your, I had a feeling. I, I told you. I called it. I'm like, she didn't call shit. Shut the fuck up. They're like, those are like the bandwagon, like part-time fucking people. Oh, like, so annoying. Super annoying. I will stop being friends with my fucking... <laughs> with my best fingers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just, so what do you have going on modeling-wise? Uh, as far as the modeling or the promo stuff you do, any shout outs you want to give as far as that or any little events coming up? Mm. 
Anything on the on, the, I have on your a, plate? I have a photo shoot on Monday. No, no, no. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. For just for you to promote your shit or for something else? Um, I don't know. It's like an MMA page. Oh, for real? Cool, uh-huh. cool. They post like different like workouts and different like um, pictures, things sure. like that, like influencing MMA. Nice. Um, so it's like an MMA shoot. I just. Oh, okay, cool. Like, so you're gonna be wearing some workout gear mm-hmm. or some uh yeah and like some technique okay. like that's dope you're gonna be posing with your fists a lot <laughs> <laughs> kicking that's dope so where can the people see it or is that something that's coming out or what's the website um <clears throat> the website um i'm not not too sure what I, so stay tuned people stay tuned yeah i can put it like I can give it to you. How come you don't have a fucking uh, Facebook like page? Uh, like, a fan, like a fan page. Mm-hmm. I know you have Instagram, but we need a... I know. I focus more on my Instagram. My Instagram just yeah. passes over my Facebook. That's what I'm saying. It goes into your personal though, right? Yeah. Right. So I, I, need definitely... a, I need to send you a request for the Facebook. I think I have you on Instagram. But mm-hmm. I'll send you a Facebook. But just in general, like... Because, I mean, it's not just... The MMA shit, you have other shit going on, so you should. Have, yeah. Like, it'd be cool if you had like a, like a page, like a little community page or a personality page, for Ruby Diaz. You know what I'm saying? Like, so some people can be like stay in tune. After, this, after people you hear this shit, they're gonna be so interested. Weird to me. What? Like, I I'm not trying to be like, I don't know, because I just don't think of myself like like, like that. Like, as so, I feel like, you know, like I'm a little bit more like. Like, like yeah, I'm a little bit more like humble about like okay, yeah, yeah, like that's cool. so I was like a like page, you know, like but it's businessy shit. <laughs> true, I know. See, I don't have that. That's cool I of you though. That. That's cool of you though. That's cool that you're humble about it. But but also think of potential <laughs> because, fans uh, and so, friends that um, want to keep up with your career. You can use your personal, keep it personal, and then you have your like page. You know? Really? Wow. Because okay, that makes. I mean, or nap. Because uh, going crazy? going out to Barfly, like <laughs> <laughs> every you know, like not too often, just like I, I've gone and like the times I've gone, um, people are telling me like, hey, like what's up? Like, see, don't ever stop fighting, please. And like, I was like, whoa, like whoa. See, people recognize you. Cause it's been like a year, so I, I mean, I've been dying for a fight. I just got injured, you know. Yeah. So um, people yeah. need a place to go check up and see updates on what you're doing. And stuff. Yeah, like I and I think that, like, I really haven't been posting so much. Oh really? Yeah, so but I'm around. really, I'm really, no, no. I'm just, I'm just missing. I'm <laughs> just like, I'm just kind of, I don't know, feeling. I don't know, but I really want to now. So I'm like. I'm definitely Facebook gonna page, like work, work on Facebook. that. Like I'm excited about it. I'll like, run it for you. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm now that I don't have like the job at UFC gym. Mm. I'm. I finally like got the time to go to California and train with the. You know the they're calling me like, like yeah, like nice. where you at? Like I'm just. I feel so like blessed to have. Huh. In Glendale or which gym? Um. Um, people from Rain, um, they made another gym in Newport, a jiu-jitsu gym with Jason Manley. I really want to go train with them and nice. like, you know, yeah, um, a friend named Ashton, she, she's so good <clears throat> and we just like rolled for hours, like just nonstop, it was just not hours, but just, she's so fun to train with, I love her. So I'm going to go train with her and go do that shoot and then. I'm gonna go to um, Vegas and go train at Syndicate a bit, and um, so I'll still be training like wherever I am because I have another shoot over there, and and then so I want to do. I, I want to still be training because I really want that opportunity to train with Paige like that. that You're would super be so young dope. too, so you have like the fucking whole world ahead of you. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm kind of like I've been needing a vacation like just been four <laughs> months in El Paso, and like like you know I need adventure, <laughs> I need excitement, I need lights, I need. Something like things like ev- everything around. fast yes and like just so much fun and i need the beach i need the beach like <laughs> the beaches 
my god like i i that's my nature that's my church that's where i find myself that's where i like finally you know get peaceful and um the water you know i just don't break out when (laughs) i'm at the beach i was at the beach like every day i was like learning how to surf and i became one with what i used to have okay this is how it is like i used to have a like a a phobia of the water i could not go past my knees yeah, if it went above my knees, no. Like, no, I yeah, will not too. go. I'm afraid of water, to be honest. <laughs> and so when I was little, like, um, I think I was like 12, and I touched, no, 14 or something. And um, I touched some seaweed, and it freaked me, and I was like, no, <laughs> never. And I was afraid that alligators are going to eat me. Alligators oh, yeah. aren't even in the ocean. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I was afraid Sharks, of everything. Though. I was like Sharks. jellyfish, the little sand things, you know, like something in the sand. Like, I was afraid of everything. Crabs. So I was like, no, I will never. I'm not even gonna think about it anymore. See, I was going too much into like into my phobia, like yeah. like took over you. Yeah, yeah, I did. So so I thought too much. So anyway, I went on a banana, on a banana boat, and mm. I didn't know it was gonna take us all the way out yeah, there. It freaked me out. out. <laughs> it freaked me out. I was like, what are we doing? Oh my god, like what are we doing? And, and you have no choice. No, point. no, no, no. I'm already there, and my stupid cousin Adrian, he was sitting in the back. I was sitting in the second one, and then everybody else. Um, we had like um, my little cousin. She was like six, like. But anyway, he starts jumping in no. the back, and he flips us over. And so now I'm upside down, you know, like the the bow, like fucking Adrian. I'm in the water, and I look down, and I saw this coral reef, and I saw a big fish, and like way down there, way down there, it was like clear. You could see coral reefs though, yeah. and fish, and I'm like. I got so scared. Like I went, like I went back up, and I drove. I swam all the way to the <laughs> boat that was pulling us, and I was this old, Damn. creeper, disgusting, like little meth head. Like, and and, <laughs> and I, I just climbed in there, and and I hadn't even seen him. When I looked at him, I got so scared, and I was like, <laughs> I was, I was crying, I was screaming, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, Is and serious? he, you know what he told me? What? Get off my boat. What? I'm like, awesome. what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the just f- cry. He's like, get off my boat. I'm like, the fuck? Like, how, what do you mean? Like, no. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm cr- I'm I'm having a panic attack. I'm like, gonna die. I'm gonna get eaten by coral. Yeah, we finally went to the shore and um Hold on, hold on. Hold that thought, me- hold on, hold on, hold that thought. So cat, so finish that story. What was I saying? But <laughs> but you getting Kicked off a boat. <laughs> oh, that fucker. So that ugly guy, he, like, uh, when we got to shore, um, they made me get b- back on the, the banana boat. And then, and then... How old were you? I was, like, 14. Oh, okay. And, and that was in, like, I, I don't even remember what beach it was, but somewhere in California. Yeah. <coughs> oh, we went... Um... So that's why I was afraid, but getting into the water. Okay, so I saw this old man at the beach just walk into the water like it was like he was walking on it on top. Like he just went into like okay, so we were in Laguna and Laguna has like it's a cliff and so like when it the water goes, it, it's really deep. It's like a, just straight kind of down. So getting going into it, it it it's real steep and yeah. so the the water goes like this and then and then it comes back real high and then comes in and so when he he like meet the water right here like right in the middle and so it looked like he was walking Ooh, wow like <laughs> uh well and like he just walked in so gracefully and just like so easy he was he just went in there i'm like i was like he just went in there like like oh, with I the sun in his face like you know had arms open like what like a sh- what a show off <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he went in there like he loved it. Yeah. He went in there like he knew what he was doing and he loved that shit. Like, and he just went in there so gracefully, just like, like just so trusting. And, and yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it just like that. I'm going to do it just like that. And so one time I went in there and I went all the way out, all the way. And I was like, and I'm not going to stop mm. until I can't even touch the floor. I'm not going to stop. Wow. And like, I set that like alarm in my head. And yeah. like, that's exactly what happened. And and so I went all the way out there and like I was like I'm not gonna freak out I'm not gonna freak out I'm like I'm I'm okay like no like there is no sharks there is no this yeah. and that I I wasn't like I wouldn't even say the word but I just know like there is no nothing like whatever no is that it. you're thinking about it is whatever it doesn't matter it's there's no no you don't you're think about in the that moment, side and then so everything. 
Yeah, and I was like, okay, and like what I realized like at the moment, I was like, if you love the water, the water will love you. So if you are like water, you're just you become it, you become one. Like you, and then Nature you feel. That's how I got used to. That's how I found like God. Like that's how I found like. It was like a spiritual yes, experience. Yeah, it really awakening. was, and yeah. and to see the water and around me and waves are coming and I was um. I was learning how to surf hmm. to like, like that um, couple of days, you know, like out of the week, like That's cool. sure. um, this was a different time. I wasn't learning. Yeah. I was in that lesson then, but, but um, I was in the water and still trying to get over my fear, you know, <laughs> That's a crazy story. <laughs> and, and like, um, I did it. Like I was, I was there for like a long time. I was like, I'm not going back to the store. This is the best shit ever. Yeah. This is the best shit ever to overcome like that fear yeah. was like such an amazing experience. I felt like See, high, cool. like I not uh, like my own natural drug, you yeah. know, like how happy like I euphoric, was. Yeah. Like I was really that happy that I overcame this. Like this feeling was like, I will forever remember, you know, that's crazy. That's uh, really crazy. <laughs> I finally, I was able to like, get I'm, out. I'm like picturing myself there. Like I'm like, Kind of, if you're painting a good picture, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm tripping. <laughs> that's dope. Like, these waves are like, you know. But you you're, start, that's like, cool. The cool thing is that you're facing your fears though and shit, and you're conquering them. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, just something else people can take away from your third. This season. is the kind of stuff that I did in California because I had nobody around me. I, I didn't know anybody. Everybody I, I I met there was new and I'd never seen before. Mm. So. Going in like that, I was really based around my own thoughts. And so that made me really, like, progress so much. Like, and that prepared my mind um, faster <clears throat> than, you know, right? A lot of other things. Yeah, like, so the really, distractions it, I have yeah. back home because I know everybody in it. It accelerated. Yeah, you had less distractions. Yeah, so it yeah. accelerated your learning process, your growing process, your yes. maturing process. Yes, yeah. yes, there was no delay. <laughs> yeah, you know, and so I got so strong in attracting things into my life, and and that um and the nature ta nature taught me that I learned from nature, like nature. just studying. Like I mean, there was times like okay, this happened like not all the time, but a few, like two times, like what happened. Like, um, I didn't know where to stay, you know, like, so I was like, <laughs> fuck it. I'm going to go to a fucking bonfire, you know? And, and so I went to a bonfire on the beach and then, um, out there, like, I mean, I had my car, mm -hmm. you know, so, but I just made the most time of every part of the day because I didn't have to be somewhere. Like, I mean, I didn't yeah, have anywhere to go. Part. So it yeah. was like, I had to fill up my day with like things to do to keep myself positive. Like, like, you know, I was like, I'm not homeless. Like I have a home. I do. Yeah, but you're like, you're, you know, like self-inflicted. Like you're doing yeah, it to like, yourself to yeah, grow. Like, yeah. Like, like I'm going to inflict and I'm going to bring, put myself in certain situations to see what happens and grow and see what I learned from it. Exactly. Yeah. Because I was just, you know, I guess like seeking yeah, healing, shit. like, yeah live or something your life like i because i realized like i had been planning for my 18th birthday for a long time i had been planning for my 21st birthday for a <laughs> long time and so the way i pictured it was you know kind of amazing yeah. because i was like you're gonna be 21 once yeah you know seeing my mom you know age and like just really kind of i'm like Oh, like come on like i i want my mom to have all these things and and so i'm like i'm getting i'm not getting any younger like shit so i was like i want my 21 to be fucking amazing an yeah. adventure every day and like wish it upon into existence and um so what happened did, <laughs> did you do something Every day. Memorable on, 20, on your 21st? Or? Yeah, like every day. Like every day I was jumping off a cliff into the water, like into the ocean. Oh, really? cool. Or, so or longboarding or? down the fucking Beverly Hills. Like nice. like looking at beautiful sceneries, <clears throat> going on Rodale Drive or like going to Huntington Beach like three times a week and Laguna Beach four times a week. Like they're like my favorite beaches. beaches. And Venice, you know, a couple of times. Like going yeah. to Glendale every day and then going to like Forest every every day like for a wrestling over 
over there and jujitsu or Damn. jujitsu in Newport. Like I was driving everywhere. Like it didn't matter how far to me. That's the place to be. That's the time I have time. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. And like, so I was everywhere where I needed to be, and that's how I grew so much because I had nobody stopping me. Oh, let's go out. No, yeah. I don't know. I don't trust anybody enough to go out. Like, you know, and um. And actually, I did make a friend there who really changed my life. Like, she was so amazing. Like, um, she she helped me, like, live, like, start up there. Like, she, I didn't know anybody out there. You have to know somebody. How'd you meet her? What's her name or what? Her name's Amanda, her hmm. daughter. And she's the sweetest angel. And where'd like, you meet her, though? How'd you meet her? She's an OC. Um, shout actually, out, shout I, out to Amanda. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Mandy. Amanda. XO. Oh, shit. Hugs and kisses or what? Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she. So I met her at Hooters actually, because I was gonna transfer from from here to there. So, but you actually have to like quit and rehire, and so that's what I did. And so I, we were at the, the same day that she applied, that I applied. She was there too. So we're both filling out applications. Uh-huh. I'm just like, she just walked in, asked for an application. I was like, <laughs> like Who's you know, bitch? like like. <laughs> Bitch, I'm getting this job. Like <laughs> the competition. I'm getting this job. <laughs> you have no idea. Like, and so um, it was kind of like that. But I was like, I'm not gonna be like that. Like, <laughs> see, I had the negative thought in my head, but then I was like, I would never. Like, I was like, I'm not like that. And I was like, why would I wish badly upon? So I was like, come over. And so she sat with me, and then we started talking. We became like best friends. Uh huh. You still talk to her? <sighs> it's been a while. I'm like chilly. It's chilly in your own. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I should have turned the heat on. Sorry, behind you, like it's not even on. <laughs> it would have been perfect for you. Yes. <laughs> Is it connected? It's awesome. not even connected. <laughs> Where's my jacket? <laughs> yeah. It's right there. Oh, we're almost done. Either way, oh, cool. we're good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, because we already have an hour, 21 minutes here. But awesome oh. stories, awesome <laughs> stories, Ruby. <laughs> no, honestly, the best part of this shit was the stories are dope, but just somebody looks at you like, uh, you know, because I mean, yeah, you're a pretty girl, blah, blah, blah. But they're just going to think, ah, oh, well, she's just a pretty girl, just probably just clubbing and clubbing it up and, you know, uh, uh, dating guys and blah, blah, blah. But this shows the. The real fucking story, you know what I mean? Like people are gonna listen to this shit, really and they're gonna be like, "Holy that. shit!" It's crazy. When you see Ruby Diaz on the street, you know the story. Like this is like, because I didn't know all that shit either. Like even I'm amazed. <laughs> what the fuck? Like out there, fucking in beaches and shit, and traveling. Yes. You told me you would drive around a lot, and you know, I know you traveled and shit. And the MMA shit was like my main thing for you know booking you. But I also knew you that you had like a kind of a cool lifestyle i just i wanted to get the details down so now don't in other words listeners don't judge a book by its cover because mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying because that's dope because yeah you're, you're doing some cool shit so did we uh did we touch on everything is there anything else before we wrap up anything else you want to touch on anything else you want to promote when's the facebook page coming <laughs> Well, I can talk for that's, hours i know no, <laughs> shit, we got, we got, we're good yeah, but, but yeah. i'm just saying but i mean um, um you think I think you should. I think it's it's, Follow me. it's time Follow. for the it's time for the, the the fan page just in general. Well, the Facebook. I know you have the Instagram, but because but not an MMA page. I wouldn't say this is just this is like manager Jesus coming in and saying not necessarily, but as a personality. You know what I'm saying? Like because you you don't, you're not just MMA. You're like a motivational. You could even probably speak at places. You know what I'm saying? Like there's money in that shit too. <laughs> you could probably speak. You know really? what I mean? Yeah, dude. No, you have a good story, but you're still believing yourself. You know what I mean? Because you have a you have a cool story. Like I don't think you realize it. Like that's why I wanted to record it because I knew there was something about you. So you could, do, dude. Don't don't make an MMA page. Make like a like a fucking personality page, like a Ruby deal. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't just fight. I do. I, that's one thing I do. But I'm also just a personality. A, you know, a motivational person, a socialite. Blah 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 fashion or whatever just everything all in one i would do that i would That'd take that angle. So cool. <laughs> i would take that angle if i were you no seriously so any any so before we wrap up any uh any shout outs shout out to bushido <laughs> um shout out to my influencers um russ diamond he's a, a rap artist from atlanta 
and um, check out his music on SoundCloud. Russ Diamond. Russ Diamond. Yeah. Shout out to Russ Diamond. And um, uh, Rudy Garcia, the skateboarder. He lives in Barcelona now. Nice. Um, but reps El Paso so hard. So hard. And nice. um, shout out to my friends. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my family. Cool. Cool. Yeah, we're good. Shit. Well, listeners, if you like what you hear, tell a friend to tell a friend. Share it with somebody. This is like for sure by far one of my favorite ones. I was not expecting a lot of this shit. So it was a good one. So if you when you see me post it on Facebook or Instagram, share it, guys. And we'll leave it at that. So, uh, like the page. If you want to know where to find us, you might be listening through SoundCloud, but we're also on Stitcher and also on iTunes for you Apple people. iTunes, just look for Sweet Jesus Radio. And that's it. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sweet Jesus Radio.